In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to invite an additional attendee to a Microsoft Outlook meeting. Let's dive in and make sure this process is as seamless as possible. First and foremost, you'll need to navigate to the Microsoft Outlook page. Once you're there, you'll want to click on the sign in button. This is usually located on the top right corner of the page. After clicking it, you'll be taken to the sign in screen where you'll need to enter your login details. Be sure to use the correct email and password that, that are associated with your Outlook account. Once you've filled in the necessary information, go ahead and click the next button to continue. After you've successfully logged in, you'll find yourself at the Outlook dashboard. This is your home base where you can manage your emails, calendar events, and more. To proceed, look towards the top left corner of the screen. Here, you'll spot a series of icons, each representing different functions available in Outlook. The one we're interested in looks like a small calendar. Click on this icon to access your calendar. Now that your calendar is open, locate the event to which you'd like to invite an additional attendee. Scroll through your calendar or search for the specific event to make it easier to find. Once you've pinpointed the correct meeting, click on it to open the event details. With the event details now in front of you, the next step is to enter edit mode. Look for the edit option, usually indicated by a button or a pencil icon, and select it. This action transforms your event details into an editable form, allowing you to make changes as necessary. While you're in edit mode, focus on the attendee list. Here's where you can add the email addresses of anyone you'd like to invite to the meeting. Simply type the new attendee's email address into the designated field. Make sure the email is spelled correctly to avoid any invitation mishaps. Adding this new attendee will ensure they receive an invite directly in their inbox, which they can then accept, decline, or tentatively accept based on their availability. Once you've added the necessary email address, it's crucial to save the changes you've made. So look for the save button and click it. This not only updates the meeting within your calendar, but also sends out an invitation email to the new attendee you've just added. And there you have it, a straightforward way to invite an additional attendee to your Outlook meeting. By following these steps, you ensure that everyone who needs to be part of your meeting is easily included and up to date with all the event details. Thanks for watching and happy scheduling.